Hello everybody, Dinky Doo, it's me, Scotty McClue. It's just after six o'clock on uh, the 28th of January, Saturday the 28th of January 2017. Just after six o'clock on the Saturday evening. And the purpose of this is uh, just to let you know, of course, that uh, all weather permitting and God willing, I shall be with you tomorrow evening at 10 o'clock sharp as per advertised live on Facebook Live. But the purpose of this is actually just to let you know um, about funding. I have applied for funding to go fund me and you will see the links on social media for Scotty McClure. You'll see it on Twitter, you'll see it on Google Plus, you'll see it on Facebook, all the Facebook pages, you'll see it in the fans group and Facebook, etc, etc. Now, it's quite an ambitious target we've set, but there's reasons for this is A, there's no absolute rush as to uh, when we raise the funding and of course we can do a variety of things with it including perhaps even purchasing media assets from other owners so that's something i would like your attention on now never ever ever feel obligated to give one bean to scotty mcclue if that's not what you want to do so if you have got um, a spare um, bit of dosh floating about and you would like to donate it to a good cause then think about it of course that's it but there's absolutely no problem either way now i've chosen gofundme also you know paypal are on the scotty mcclue website if you prefer that www.scotty-mcclue.com and you will see the paypal logo there the old logo the logo the logo the paypal logo and uh, the gofundme you can click on the link or you can look up gofundme scotty mcclue the scotty mcclue show so what we're going to do we're going to build and build and build fantastic results this week has returned almost eight thousand so far of you have um, made up the audience for this week's facebook video that's fantastic of course we did have the the rabbi burns special and the address to the haggis that was on wednesday night on burns night Funnily enough, well, there you go. But uh, also I thought I'd pop up and just let you know that tomorrow night we'll be back, 10 o'clock sharp. I'll try and do a promo for you tomorrow afternoon and let you know the kinds of things we'll be discussing. You know that you can Skype the program and you know that the program is global. I want to start to develop it. I want to take little adverts and stuff on social media, let everybody know about it, because you can have the finest program in the world, but unless everyone knows about it, then you're on a hiding to nothing. And we don't want that. Scotty McClure has been with you. This is his jubilee year for 25 years, informing, educating, and entertaining the nation. That's not a bad track record. So if I've ever managed to inform, educate, or entertain you, and you've enjoyed my company at some point over the last 25 years, then please consider uh, donating something to the funding for the program at uh, GoFundMe or at PayPal at scotty-mcclue.com. So that was the purpose of this broadcast. Uh, also to say thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you whether you have given, are giving, or not, not a problem to say thank you for your kindnesses, for your generosity, for your thoughtfulness, for enjoying the programme, for sharing the programme. I think that's been fantastic as well. Scotty, why not have a fundraising event, says Jarvis. Yes, of course, Jarvis, absolutely. But everybody these days is pushed for time. Everybody has demands on their time. Everybody has demands on their income and on their money. So if you want to give a pound, that's fine. If you want to give a fiver, that's fine. If you want to give a thousand, that's fine. Fifty thousand, five million, not a problem. But as long as you're happy and comfortable with that and you'd like old McClue to do some wonderful things with your dosh. Nice colour of jumper, Mr McClue. This is Hugh Miller. I thank you, Hugh. Royal blue. Um, oh, my Aunt Julia 
is in the USA. Or my Aunt Julia in the USA, says David Wright. Aunt Julia in the USA. Dinky do to you, I say. If you want to share this video right now, folks, feel free to do so. Share, 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 share. Get involved with Scotty McClue on all aspects of social media. I was doing the figures last night and we're just short of 100,000 of you have uh, seen the Facebook Live videos. So there we are. That's fantastic. They are, of course, uploaded onto YouTube. So look at Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. We've got about 270,000 of you have joined us there, but we've only got 787. So we're short of subscriptions. So if you are in a position to subscribe, it doesn't cost anything at all. If you're in a position to subscribe to Scotty McClue on YouTube, then look up the Scotty McClue channel and click subscribe. And we'll get that up to over a thousand subs because it's a bit of nonsense that 780 people have subscribed and yet 270,000 have seen the videos. If you've got accounts on any of the big websites, uh, you know, and you want to share and share some of the YouTube videos, do that. It's only a right click and away you go, as they say, and back you come if you're doing a, a barn dance. Richard Mackay is watching. Richard Frediani is watching. Our finest news editor in the country. A very, very, very busy man at the moment of course, with our Prime Minister in America. Andy McCrone is watching Richard Mackay. David Wright shared. Thank you, Craig Duncan's watching. Welcome, Craig. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you all with us. That is fantastic. And these are wonderful figures, folks. I get um, talking to media owners at time because there's big, big talks going on at the moment of the future of Scotty McClure. I have made millions of pounds for media owners in the past. I haven't really had a share of it myself, but that doesn't matter because, as you know, I am more interested in people than in money. And that's the secret to a successful and happy life. So there we are. Jim Clark's watching. Scotty, will you take love? Says Jarvis Butler. Jarvis, everybody will take love. It's a fabulous currency. So there you go. And uh, lots of you commenting on here. This is tremendous. Money is nothing, says Jarvis. Absolutely, Jarvis. So there you go. But as I say, only donate if you're feeling flush. There's a lot of flush people out there. And if you feel the media is a good cause and you'd like to see Scotty McClure develop, I personally have also got big plans and goals for Scotty. And remember, never take your eye off the goal. That's when you see the obstacles in the middle. Uh, but um, I have got uh, huge plans for Scotty. And we may be looking at one of the big television companies that also does telephones and things like that. And maybe doing uh, an international show on uh, other platforms as well as on Facebook Live, if that's all ongoing. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, my auntie in California will be tickled pink, says David Wright. How fantastic. Loved your Buns Night rendition, says Frank McElroy. Thank you for that, Frank. Very, very much appreciated. If you can join us tomorrow, Frank, I know you're an early riser, aren't you? You're an early morning worker, so you might have a problem joining us. But if you can join us tomorrow night at 2200 hours or 10 o'clock sharp or around 5 o'clock, if you're listening in the United States and watching in the United States, I have to get used to everybody watching. I'm used to talking about people listening. Uh, you're there, says Jarvis. Absolutely fantastic stuff. If you want to have a share, folks, share, 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 share. But these are very well, healthy, healthy viewing figures, and I'm very grateful to all of you for sticking with us. So there you are. Scotty McClure has always survived on applause or derision. You don't have to like Scotty as long as you love him. That's what it's all about. And um, is this taxable, says Jarvis? Everything is taxable. Jarvis, everything. So there you are, just letting you know. James Bowers watching, think you do. But the lovely thing is, if you're contributing um, through GoFundMe, that you'll see the link on my social media. 
then, uh, and somebody's put a tenner in already. We've only been up and running a couple of hours. I think it's two or three hours we've been running, something like that. Um, and somebody's sent in a tenner already. So that is lovely. Thank you to them. You haven't put your name. You are anonymous. And you can remain anonymous and your donations, of course, can be in confidence. And I can do some marvellous things with very little money. Uh, out in the taxi, is the James Barrow. Good for you, James. I hope you make a shilling. Saturday night, an excellent night. It should be good. So uh, good luck to you there. And you'll be into the wooden lavatory seats and the fitted carpets in the house before you can say Jack Russell. Uh, I'll be there, Scotty, no doubt whatsoever says Frank McElroy. How fabulous, Frank. Thank you very much for that. Spread the word, folks, says James. James, what to do if you can get everybody retweeting stuff on Twitter, uh, sharing, sharing, sharing everything on Facebook. Just get it shared. It's lovely of you to like. I like when I see over 100 people have liked your video. Uh, a little entry there. But it's also be lovely if it said over 100 people have shared your video it's all about sharing and building 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 the audience we're trying out new media here and if you think about it potentially this could actually change the whole landscape for radio and television lovely to see you all on facebook there shannon anderson say hello i love her and i'll donate a 20 pound note says david wright david i would have said it even if you hadn't offered to donate a £20 note. So Sharon Anderson, hello from David Wright, who's a very, very fine fellow. So there we are. Michael Yule's watching. Uh, what's the GoFundMe for, Scotty, says Brian Paul. What we're going to do, Brian, is create this fund, and it would help with equipment for the program. It would help with seeing if we could get the program longer and uh, more of it, you know, so maybe more than one night a week. It would help with uh, improving the quality of it. It would help with advertising the program, letting everybody know it's on right across social media. And also it would help in the long run, perhaps we might look at buying uh, a media asset and building an independent media. Um, so there we are. That's something else he's looking at because so much media has got gobbled up and it's in the hands of the big companies and they of course will be in the hands of somebody else who will be in the hands of somebody else and all that sort of stuff so i would rather just be in the hands of ourselves in the hands of the universe and um, and those of you who are giving thank you thank you thank you thank you 25 years of Scotty McClue to huge audiences we've made lots of media moguls very rich i always come back to the uh, chief executive officer in programming that said to one of the media moguls, can we afford to hire Scotty McClure? And the media mogul fixed him with his eyes and said, can we afford not to hire Scotty McClure? So there we are. So if you are a media owner and uh, you're looking for some advice and some assistance, I'll be happy to come along and um, present for you and uh, have a look at your business and see if Scotty McClue could do anything for you. But meantime, we are here on Facebook Live and we're building, 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 building. It's tremendous. Thank you for that. Will you wear your tweed jacket tomorrow night? Says Frank McElroy. I've got my tweed jacket right here, Frank. But I found that I start to get very, very warm in the studio under the lights. And, uh, and I get a wee sort of, a wee rivulet runs down my nose. Um, I'll treat you there. There's plenty of fun and truth. Cheers, Scotty. Hope you're well, mate. I've watched you from the beginning. Ten pounds to you, sir. Brian, I thank you very much. I will look after it. Scotty McClue has a track record of doing wonderful things on very, very little. So there you are. So even if we don't reach our massive, 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 massive goal, uh, you know, quickly, it doesn't matter. So there you are. You are better with a bud in the hand than two in the bush, so they say. <laughs> I'm not going to go there, actually. I've just thought about that. Yeah, that's your score up and an extra five pounds if you mention David Jr. David Wright Jr. I would have mentioned David Wright Jr. for you even if there hadn't been 
an extra five pounds so i can tell you that thank you very much folks if you've just joined us a very very warm welcome you're uh, watching scotty McClure. we're live on facebook live that is the world's top platform for broadcasting because scotty McClure is on it right now scotty McClure is here the new just for you saying dinky do mike henfield is watching one of the finest radio managing directors i have ever worked for and i've worked for some cracking people so there you are and mike henfield just got everything right when you what for mike henfield radio just bloomed and blossomed it was wonderful he was the managing director of red rose radio and a very very fine journalist a great newscaster i described him this week as the ubiquitous mike henfield so there you are if you've just joined us we're talking about funding for the program now the program is absolutely free to air and scotty McClue has always been free to you my fees would always just come uh, either from the radio station and i would hope to provide value for money we've made some media owners very very wealthy in our day and um, that's good for them i am delighted for them what i would like to do is see if we can get some funding together so very very important so i've set up a gofundme um site and you'll get the link for it in social media and if you can forward that link to everybody in your social media with a little note saying this is for scotty he's uh, setting up a broadcast program it's been running now for 18 weeks it is very successful the figures are there and um i think we should fund the old fella so there you go so it doesn't matter as much or as little as you feel comfortable with and also those of you who are not in a position to send anything not a problem i send you love that is absolutely fabulous as well you can be uh, npos you can be non-participant observers in the program and thoroughly enjoy it so there you are chris max watching dinky do just shared 20 times and told them all to share too says margaret bonner thank you very very much margaret Ron Stewart says, I've shared it, mate. Woohoo, says Jarvis. Hello, hello, Jarvis. Lovely to know that you're there. Thank you for sharing, guys. And also, those of you who don't want to do the GoFundMe, I set up the GoFundMe because not all of you wanted to do the PayPal. The PayPal's at www.scotty-mcclue.com. And um, the uh, GoFundMe, uh, you will see the link for it, or you can go on to GoFundMe and put in Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, or the Scotty McClue Show, and uh, that will come up there. Somebody's already um, been very, very generous, uh, although they've been anonymous. Uh, it's very interesting when somebody gives something, they want to be anonymous. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten, says James Barr. So there you are. Thank you for that, James. Very much appreciated. Terrible, says Jarvis. I don't know what you're on about, Jarvis. What's terrible now? Is it your indigestion or or, or what is it? Uh, so there you are. I must suffer. I, I suffer as well as the world knows from uh, uh, a very rare form of terminal flatulence. So that's fine. Uh, how will you compete with the big radio stations? All the best to you, but it's a dog eat dog business out there. Louis, will you remember that I have been in the business for uh, 47 years? Is that right? 47 years? No, no, what have I been? Been in the business, sorry, for 40 years. I beg your pardon. Uh, struggling with the mental arithmetic when I'm broadcasting live. Shouldn't be, though. Shouldn't be. You know, experienced broadcaster. I should be able to do all that as well. So, uh, yes, 37 years in the business. So I know all about the dog-eat-dog. -dog. I have been stabbed in the back, metaphorically speaking, um, on a number of occasions, of course. But none of that matters because these poor souls that feel they need to stab you in the back, they don't realize there's room for everyone. And if you want to just go and do it, go and do it. I used to say that to people. People would phone up and they'd say, oh, I quite fancy a wee talk show on the radio myself, Scotty. I'd say, well, put your tape into the radio stations. The country is falling down with radio stations. 
Um, so Java says answer scrape. We can't answer scrape, Java. It's downstairs. Rosie Morrison says she shared. Thank you, Rosie. Very, very, very much appreciated. Keep sharing, folks, just to let them know we've had wonderful audience figures this week. So um, just shy of uh, 10,000 uh, of you have been on this week. And uh, we're just shy of 100,000, which is fantastic. Your radio stations are only big if they've got the content. You'll find if you remember Scott FM, when I came up to Scott FM, there were 3,000 listeners listening at night. And I turned that into the better part of 300,000. Uh, so there you are. So it all can be done. Great advice. Grab things you want with both hands, says Amanda Brown. Amanda, I loved, loved, loved your singing this week. Thank you, my dear, for treating us all to such a wonderful rendition of a man's a man for all that. And you got the balance just right. You were counting. And uh, it's fantastic. Music, of course, is mathematics. Music is its own language. There's a man that would know all about that. There's Ian Cook from Dundee, a very, very fine um, organist, a pipe organist. And uh, Ian Cook knows his stuff, so it's lovely to have Ian with us. Now, folks, if you've just joined us, David Lee Weir is watching, of course. Welcome, David Lee Weir. Um, we're talking about funding, and I've set up a GoFundMe for the Scotty McClue show. We've tried it out for 18 weeks now, and uh, I think we can make progress with a little bit of dosh. So there we are. Um, perhaps uh, tidy up the equipment, do a little bit of advertising. Uh, look at new equipment and also perhaps even look at purchasing uh, media assets from other owners. So that's why you'll see the goal is quite substantial. But then again, um, you know, it's not that substantial in today's world. So you'll just have to uh, trust the old McClue knows exactly what he's talking about. Been there, done it, built up many radio stations and uh, also worked on many many radio stations worked on television stations built up the audiences there and made a lot of people very wealthy indeed so all's good in the hood as we say you had the business behind you when you turned three thousand into three hundred thousand it wasn't just you you had the funding the marketing team and the mass investment says louis faber this is true louis but they only appeared when we started proving that uh, the business could work so there you are you'll find success has many fathers and failure is something of an orphan so i've had a lot of doubting thomases in my life when we've launched things have gone nah. Nah, are we are we scotty no no that'll that'll never work and then when it starts working they're Crowding around you, patting in the back, saying, well, I always knew you would manage it, and I always knew you had it in you. And I remember when we moved from the nights till the morning. I wasn't too sure about the idea at first of moving Scott and McClue from nighttime broadcasting to daytime broadcasting. And I remember one of the critics in one of the big papers saying, well, if McClue can pull it off, you know, on the off chance type thing, um, then it would be a, tr a tremendous success, but uh, that's the big if, you know. Anyway, needless to say, the audience doubled in the mornings. So that was fantastic. Hi, Angie. Scotty, address the haggis. It was East, says Amanda Brown. Nah, but you're singing, Amanda. You're singing. There, so there you are. But you are right, Louis. We did have the business. But remember, as I say, people start appearing out the woodwork and uh, giving you money when things are working well. Success has many fathers. Uh, so there you are. Scotty, can't forget your voice. Diane Debeck. Thank you, Diane. It's so funny. If I meet somebody in the street and they say, excuse me, could you direct me to the, ra the railway station? I say, yeah, you're just, if you go up and turn to your left and you, and then they sort of, are you, you're no Scotty McClue from the radio area. I say, well, I might be, yes. yes. I, I just recognise your voice there. Incredible. Colin Rogers watching. Dinky doo to you, Colin, and a very warm welcome to uh, Scotty McClue. Live on Facebook Live, the country's top 
platform. We are broadcasting globally. David Lee Weir, the green-eyed monster. Scotty, oh, tell me about it. And I always wonder about the green-eyed monster. Is He's dangerous. He's dangerous. The green-eyed monster is dangerous because some people can look in the eyes and say, oh, it's marvellous, we'll love your show. And then, you know, very strange. The green-eyed monster is a funny one. He doesn't always wear his heart on his sleeve. An experience, as my grandfather used to say, is a great teacher, but he asks a high price. And he's quite right. I had a good one last week that I thought was amazing. When you think about it, it's true. It, uh, good decisions come from experience. Experience comes from bad decisions. So, very, very interesting. And boy, did I learn. I've only met one bad man in my whole life who took a bit of money off me. And uh, boy, did I learn from that. So, there we go. And he knows who he is. The green-eyed monster, David Lee, you're quite right. Frank Michael Roy, the night time is best time for Facebook Live and radio phone-ins. Well, you see, Frank, yes and no. I think it's the right time for Facebook Live. We haven't tried the mornings yet, but uh, radio phone-ins, as I say, the audience doubled during the day. You know, you've got in radio, you've got what's called available audience, but the audience doubled during the day and everybody was out and about in their cars. And it's incredible that you have these huge, huge audiences listening to Scotty McClue. Fantastic stuff. I wish you all the best. Just make sure you maintain the personal touches. It's often difficult to get through to DJs when you call in. Keep yourself open and available and answer all questions, says Louis Faber. Louis, you're talking to Scotty McClue. I always talk to the people. I understand my audiences. That's why they come and join me. So I don't know how much you know about Scotty McClue, but do your research, have a good old swatch, and you will find that the people matter to me more than money. Somebody asked me recently, they said, how come you don't do as well as some of these big, big names and that? They've kind of, you know, and, and you're, you're far better than them, far better than them, Scotty. And I say, well, it's all to do with understanding. One switched on programmer in television, right? If Lou Grade had still been alive, Scotty McClure would never be off your televisions. So there you are, because he was a man that understood entertainment. There we are. When I worked for ITV, it was a fabulous place to work. It still is, of course. ITV is still a good place to work, but it was 15 separate companies. And I worked for Grampy and Scottish and Border. And they were tremendous companies. And it was great to be part of it. And I always remember one night uh, the controller said, the snooker is going out. And the snooker was national. He said, as our announcer, would you top and tail it that's taking the scenic route round the country? And I said, yes, I'd be delighted. So I had said, just as we joined the snooker at the Guildhall in Preston. And... Um, I can remember this and I thought this microphone is open to the whole of the UK and Northern Ireland. It's fantastic. The whole of the UK, Northern Ireland, um, of course, part of the UK, but you know what I mean? It was open to the whole of the UK, the Channel Islands, Wales, Scotland, England, you know, and it was a marvellous feeling. How come you're on tonight, Scotty? Is you're not on tomorrow or are you having a cheeky hello tonight? Angie, I've just come on tonight to tell you about funding. I've set up a GoFundMe account and you'll see it on the social media. So I came on to explain myself, to face up to the nation, face up to the globe and tell them what that's all about. And we'll see if we can raise some money. You're the man, Scotty, says Ron. And uh, profits over people these days, unfortunately, in showbiz, says Louis Faber. Louis, you're absolutely right. There's too much of it. There's too much greed around. And I have never, ever, ever suffered from greed. And that's been a huge winner in my life. And that's why I can have so much fun as well in my life. Somebody once asked, um, now who was it? It was... Um, it wasn't John Rockefeller. It was, oh, come on. Very, very wealthy man in America. And they said, how come you're so serious when you've got all that money? And he said, 
looking after money is a very serious business. So there we go. Um, you must have to be cheeky, says Jarvis. Not at all. Jim Robbins watching. One of the finest IT people in the country. There is nothing that Jim Robin cannot sort out in information technology. Get down and do it, says Jarvis. Uh, so marvellous stuff. Uh, Darren Kelly, are you watching the night? Says Ron Stewart, dinky do Ron. So what's happened? We have PayPal there, and a lot of you have been very, very kind and very generous donating through PayPal. But I know some of you, um, it's not the, the one you want to use. Therefore, I've gone to GoFundMe as well, and you will feel happy on GoFundMe. Um, I go get me the money, no PayPal. They take a chunk, says Angie. Right, well, GoFundMe, Angie, is there for you. If you're feeling flush, you don't have to, but if you'd like to donate, you're very, very welcome. So there you are. Beautiful, says Jarvis. Jarvis, what on earth are you on about? I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. Can we have a share, please? What time we got here? It's quite difficult to see. I'm just looking over. over. Very, the lights are very, very bright. Um, half past six. It's just after half past six on Saturday night. Saturday, the 28th of January, 2017. I am Scotty McClue, here for you, saying dinky-doo. And uh, we're on tonight just to let you know that the funding is now open for the programme. We've done 18 programmes. The 19th tomorrow night, all being well, God willing, weather permitting, 19th programme live on Facebook Live. We also had a tribute to Rabbi Buns. All these programmes are still on Facebook. You'll see them under my videos. And also all these programmes are uplifted or uploaded, as we say. I love uplifted, but they are uploaded onto YouTube. Scotty McClue is very big on Twitter. If you're a Twitterer or a Twitterer, get yourself on there and go to at Scotty McClue. You'll also see the McClue review, which we're going to build up for hotels. And um, who else have we got? Thanks for the hellos tonight, says David Wright. David, it's a privilege and a pleasure. That's why we're here. I had somebody said to me one time, all you seem to be doing is um, reading out names and shouting out to people. I said, well, it is a shout-out show. That's what we do. It does what it says in the tin. And the other one that I've perhaps told you before, but people say, what is this? Uh, this Scotty McClure thing, is it, a, is it a spoof? Is it is it Mrs. Merton? Is it the pub landlord? Uh, you know, I mean, who is it supposed to be? And you say, it's Scotty McClue. It does what it says on the tin. So there you are. So you'll see a GoFundMe account, folks. If you want to make a donation, please feel free to do so. It can be a quid. It can be a million quid. It can be anything you like. We've set a high goal. And the reason we've set a high goal is because there's no rush to actually reach it. And what I would like to do is even perhaps be in a position to purchase media assets at some point and build them up. So there you are. Uh, what are your plans for the show, Scotty, says David Lee Weir. We're going to keep building, David. We'll, we'll make sure that everybody knows about it. At the moment, we're absolutely dependent on every single one of you sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. It's a labour of love. But if you're a fan of Scotty McClure, if you're a fan of independent media, if you're a fan of talk shows, if you're a fan of talk television, if you're a fan of talk radio, we will build this as big as we possibly can on this platform, Facebook Live, a wonderful platform. Facebook, wonderful people. They've put a lot into this. It's tremendous. When it was first drawn to my attention by an esteemed colleague of mine, he said, have you tried Facebook Live? Because that's very you. And I said, well, what do I have to do? In other words, do I have to purchase another computer or something? And he said, no, you just click the icon. So fantastic stuff. So that's what we've done. And by tomorrow night, we'll be 19 shows in plus any specials. You're feeling uplifted, Scotty, says Frank McElroy. Of course I am, Frank. We're all behind you, Scotty, says Ron Stewart. You are, Ron, and thank you for that because I love the concept of independent media. I hear all these broadcasters every day doing their bosses' bidding. And I think to themselves, that was a good comment, but unfortunately, it wasn't the truth. They'd misconstrued the truth. They'd edited something to make it look a bit different. 
they'd skewed something. All that kind of nonsense. And of course, McClure doesn't go in for any of that to the fact it used to annoy very, very, very senior journalists because they said, how does he get away with that? And somebody said, because it's satirical. It's satirical. And they said, we're not allowed to do it. And no, of course you're not. But Scotty is. So there you are. Because he is the world's top broadcaster. And we do broadcast globally on Facebook Live. But, as I say, if you own television and radio stations, radio stations, television stations, television and radio stations, newspapers, satellite stations, whatever, and you want to talk to me, Scotty McClue, you'd be very, very welcome to do so. And if you've got some reason that in the past you thought, mm, I don't know, but I'm not sure what his politics are. I've even heard that one. Right. I'm effectively apolitical, but I do like to tell the truth. Um, in the link in your Facebook pages, it's not as mega rich, but I can dig out my TARDIS wallet. There's more in there than you think. Oh, there's more in you than you think. That's the motto of a very famous school. Clues et en vous. Love isn't a labour, says Jarvis. Jarvis, you're absolutely right. But we call it a labour of love because it's light. It's like picking something up off the floor and saying you're not afraid of work. Uh, I wonder if you'd mind me from around 96, 97, Scotty, Jason Miller here. Would you play our national anthem after each show? So let me know, brother. Let me know. Okay, bro. Jason Miller, yes, 96, 97, of course I remember you. We will get there with hope, says Jarvis. Of course we will, Jarvis. Jim Robbins says, Howard Hughes. Jim, thank you for that, but it wasn't. Howard Hughes, I don't think, unless I've got it wrong. It was, and it will come to me, uh, there's another big one out there. So there was Howard Hughes, and there was, I wonder if it's John Paul Getty. It might have been John Paul Getty. Um, but there we are. If I have misquoted, then, I, you know, I, I do apologise. But it was one of these uh, people who had an incredible... Uh, probably an unenviable amount of dosh. And somebody said, why is it you're so serious? And he said, because looking after money is a serious business. Another very, very, very wealthy man, a very, very nice man, um, a very uh, wealthy man, probably the wealthiest man in Britain, I would have said. Um, he passed away last year at quite a young age. So there you are. Uh, and time and beautiful persons. Now, um, lots and lots of you. Auntie Mags, I've got three hellos for one Auntie Julia and a wee David. Great. Come on, Auntie. Open the purse. Scotty needs our help. Absolutely. But there is no rush because that will be ongoing. And to every single one of you who does give something, thank you, thank you, thank you. It is very, very much appreciated. Very much appreciated because uh, it's lovely to see a dream Take shape. Tread softly, for you tread on my dreams. Uh, great crack, Scotty. I've shared it again, says Rod Stewart. Fantastic. Thank you. Yes, can we have a share point? Share, 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 share. Get the numbers up. Wonderful audience for this week, folks. Just shy of 10,000. Um, I think it was over 8,500 when I last looked and we know that that's absolutely accurate, including the YouTube figures. So there you are. And we're just shy of 100,000 for all the shows. That's fantastic. 100,000 people watching Scotty McClue on his humble, humble YouTube videos. Uh, so there we are. Uh, wasn't getting either. I don't know what you're on about now. I'm getting so much nonsense from this guy. It really is incredible. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the program. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. That is the world's top broadcaster on the world's top broadcasting site. Facebook Live. Fantastic. So there you are. And um, it's lovely to be part of something that's almost new. There's a saying that Scotty McClure has done more for radio than Marconi. But I wish I'd been there that day when Marconi said to his friend, go over to the little hillock there, uh, get your hanky out your pocket, hold it up, and if you can hear me, drop the hanky. And he burbled, and the hanky dropped, and that was the start of radio 
as we know it. Tremendous. So there you go. Very, very exciting. The JP Morgan, says Jarvis. John Pierpoint Morgan. Yes, JP Morgan. And um, who was the chap that was lost in the Titanic? Um, Viscount Astor, wasn't it? Yes, Viscount Astor, who was on the Titanic. Michael Purcell's watching. Dinky Doo, Michael. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure, just for you, Dinky Doo. On to explain himself that you will all be seeing the um, broadcast links for uh, GoFundMe. So I, what I'm hoping to do is build up some media stuff in the early days. Um, you just take a few pounds and put it into seeing how we can improve the program, how we can get equipment, how we can get advertising, get it out there. Uh, because obviously that's what it's all about. So there we are. David Lee Weir, I'm involved in charity nights throughout the year. Would you be interested in making an appearance at one of them? It would be good publicity for your show. David, I have to say, I am a very, very uh, busy broadcaster during the year. I never, ever, ever like to appear rude to people. You know, when they say, can you come along and do this? If I can, I would. But the problem is I'm uh, very, very heavily booked up. Um, but that's the way to be. I'm, I'm not complaining about it. Uh, and it's due to fact of people like your good self inviting me to so many wonderful things where I meet so many wonderful people. It's what the world is all about. As I say, I've only met one really very bad man in my life, which is not bad when you think of how many wonderful people I've met over the years and all the things I've actually done. Um, I've donated a fiver. It's not much, but it gets the ball rolling, says Angie Thompson. Angie, it is a fortune. Can I remind you, whether you're a believer or not, whether you're religious or not, whether you're of the Christian faith or not, none of that matters. The parable of the feeding of the 5,000. And there's the magic, there's the leap of faith. But if you ever want to explain, say, could we explain a parable? Could we explain the feeding of the 5,000? If you imagine that the five loaves and two fishes were broken into tiny bits and somebody said, would you like a wee flake or two of trout here? Would you like a wee? Uh, would you like a wee crumb or so of my bread? And somebody said, "Well, as a matter of fact, I've brought a packed lunch myself." And they start to take it out. I said, "Well, do you know, I, I I wasn't sure if we should take a lunch out. I've got mine here. Would you like to share mine?" And in a way, it's a little bit like the feeding of the five thousand. This is the feeding of the five billion, live here on Facebook Live, because. It's up to every one of you to share and share and share and share and tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted about Scotty McClue just for you saying dinky do live on Facebook Live each Sunday night at 2200 hours, 10 o'clock sharp. Thanks, Scotty. Very honest. Um, Big Johnny and Avern are watching in Northern Ireland. Are you watching in Northern Ireland, the periods? What are you like? I'm telling you that. Scotty McClure is broadcasting just for you to Northern Ireland. I'm, I'm broadcasting to every single one of you in Northern Ireland. So there you are. So you'd better be spreading the word. Otherwise, it'd be a problem. You know what I'm saying, me man? Right. Uh, that's what they say. So there we are. I'm broadcasting to Northern Ireland. I'm broadcasting to Ireland. I'm broadcasting to Ulster. I'm broadcasting to Derry. I'm broadcasting to London Derry. So whatever your preference or your background or your creed or your colour, none of that matters. There is only one race, the human race. And the big question the human race is asking at the moment is how can we access the Scotty McClue show? Dinky do. Going for a cup of Scotty milk and two for you, says Frank. Uh, no sugar, Frank, on a very strict diet, trying to get down to 20 stone. Um, splash of milk would be absolutely gorgeous. Uh, give the man a fish and he can feed himself for a day. Give a man a net and he can feed himself for life, says Angie Thompson. What a wise, wise woman. A wise woman, Angie, and thank you for your kindness. Mike Lawrenson's watching. Speak soon, Scotty. Need to get ready for my gig. Says so David Lee Weir, you do indeed, David Lee Weir, and thank you for that. We will liaise as time goes by. It's probably time I was pushing off. Anyway, you'll also be getting fed up with me. I really just wanted to pop up for a minute or two 
to see Dinky do and that uh, watch Scotty McClue tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. Hopefully I'll get time for a promo tomorrow. If I don't, though, I shall see you all at 10 o'clock sharp. Your job is to share, 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 and to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. And I've launched this afternoon, about three hours ago, the GoFundMe fund. Now, you'll see a massive goal there, but that's because we're looking at building it up over a long period of time. But if you've got a spare quid, or a fiver, or a tenner, 50 quid, a grand, 10 grand, 50 grand, 5 million, you feel free to pop it in there. If you don't have anything to give, that is not a problem. You are very much loved anyway. So there you go. Speak soon, Scotty. Uh, yes, you're off, David. Absolutely on its way, sir, says Frank McElroy. You're a wonderful man, Frank. Scotty, my Auntie Julia and cousin Sandra, Jim and Doug, or Doug, they're in, uh, they're in America. This is wonderful. Of course, we're broadcasting to America now, so take it. Auntie's watching us. Is Auntie watching us in California? See if you can get that information back to me, David. And of course, hello, Auntie Julia, and hello, cousin Sandra, Jim, and Doug. And uh, have a good night, mate. See you tomorrow, says Ron Stewart. Absolutely, Ron. Cheery by la. Uh, it's not a problem, Scotty. Cash in my pennies on Monday, and I'll give you some at more, says Angie. Angie, you have already been extremely kind. I thank you. No, no, says Jarvis. What do you mean, no, no? Why do you all say no-no when we're just about to go, Jarvis, for goodness sake? Be back tomorrow night, 10 o'clock sharp. Can everybody have another share of the Facebook right now? And uh, we will build up. We will include the figures for this program. I want it a bit shiny on the nose. I wonder if we should pop a little bit of, of something on the end of my nose, a little bit of uh, number seven on the end of the nose, just to take the shine off like we used to do in television. Uh, or maybe the shine doesn't matter. Uh, what you see is what you get. Listen to me broadcasting, what's and all, I say, in my best Henry VIII uh, um, terms. It was Henry VIII, wasn't it? To paint me what's and all. Um, so marvellous, marvellous, marvellous stuff, I say. Uh, another sharing would be tremendous. Remember, there's a lot of social media surrounding Scotty McClue, so get on to Twitter and um, follow us there. Also, now this is very important, can every single one of you Follow me on Facebook, right? Because there's so many people wanting to befriend that we're going to reach the limit. And if you have sent a friend request, I apologize if I haven't returned it, but if you can follow me and all the Scotty McClue Facebook pages, because there's the big public one with about five and a half thousand there. There's the other one with about 2,800 friends on that there's dinky do the scotty hyphen mcclue.com so get yourself onto that uh don't you claim your youtube adverts says jarvis well yes they will send me something um as and when they get it giuseppe bachetti is watching giuseppe bachetti a fabulous fellow lovely to hear you giuseppe i hope you're well um, you've made their year, God bless. Hi to my love, Sharon, says David Wright. I say hi, David Wright. Are they all watching in America right now? Is this not the power of Facebook Live? We're broadcasting globally. People are watching in India, Africa, Canada, America, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, uh, South America, Ireland, the UK, all of Europe, Russia, as I've said, well, I've said Russia, Russia, yes, I've said that, and you're all watching fantastic stuff. It is absolutely wonderful, and we are global right now. Um, no, Cromwell, Cromwell said, paint me Watson. Oh, I don't think it did, was it not Henry VIII? Uh, so there we are. David Wright, dinky do, thank you for sharing. Love to your dear family. That is wonderful stuff. Uh, and of course, uh, we will see you soon, folks. Share everything that's got Scotty McClue on it. I make no apologies, but I do apologise if you get a lot of shares and you think, oh, Scotty, for goodness sake, give over, boy, give over. But we are wanting to build as big an audience as possible. And that comes from you lot. So there you are. Right. Time for me to go. I shall see you tomorrow. Take care of a wonderful Saturday evening. Those of you who are going out, do take care. Uh, not too much of the crater now. 
uh, drink away, very important. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, Scotty. Look forward to tomorrow's debate. God bless you and Mrs. McClue and the chief tea woman and the wee doggy who keeps you fit on a chilly Scottish morn. Absolutely, you know me well, Angie. We Clyde, the wee darling. And that's it, and we'll see you all tomorrow, folks. This is Scotty McClure saying thank you for your generosity. Uh, thank you for going to GoFundMe. Thank you for going to PayPal. And apart from that, thank you for being you. Dinky-doo. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A waiter's in au revoir and a cheerio. Ta-da, loves. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClue has left the building.